Good Monday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather update on the SAM channel, Facebook and YouTube. And it's sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. It is August 22nd. Wow. We are getting through August pretty quickly. And uh, we did pick up some rain in a lot of places yesterday. And some of you got rain like after sunset. And some of that rain is still ongoing this morning. As we look at the radar, we've got, uh, of course, these waves, these old boundaries, one way down to the south of us in the Carolinas. And we've got one over eastern Kentucky and eastern middle Tennessee with a few showers left over. And then we've got the actual cold front, which is making its way into the area this morning. And we'll be passing through with clearing skies well we'll call it partly cloudy i mean it it may not be totally sunny today but uh this is nice a little bit of uh, less humid air is going to come in with this as we uh, go through the day over in the higher elevations of the cumberland plateau in southeastern kentucky there could be a you know a couple of raindrops here and there those don't look like raindrops do they that looks like a peanut. I'm not sure why, but sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, you get the idea. Somebody might get a shower this afternoon off to the south and east of us, but overall, uh, this system is pretty much done uh, for us, and we'll bring in some less humid air as we go through the day. Let's look at temperatures this morning, and we're starting out. Uh, in the 60s and 70s, not a bad start to the uh, morning as far as temperatures are concerned. You've got low 60s to the north where the front has already started to make its way through. Mostly mid and upper 60s further south across southern Kentucky. The front has not uh, yet come through. And uh, once it does, though, I think we're still going to see mid 80s for a high temperature low to mid 80s but the dew points will relax a bit and fall into the low to mid 60s that's not bad especially for uh, the middle and end of august so even though we're starting out with 60s this morning um, it's going to feel pretty good today i think once we get into the afternoon especially the thing to watch out for this morning is fog there is fog in a lot of places this morning, so be very careful on your way to work or whatever you've got to do this morning. Uh, where it rained yesterday, we've got dense fog in a couple of areas. Not enough for an advisory, but we've got that dense fog across the area, so just be aware of that. Here's a look at the uh, future temperatures as we go through time. Uh, we're going to see 60s to start out this morning. Get into the 80s, low to mid 80s, as I mentioned this afternoon. And again, with some of those dew points coming down just a bit enough to not make it feel too bad today, not too humid. Uh, tonight, we'll drop into the mid 60s for overnight lows and then go back into the low to mid 80s for Tuesday with lots of sunshine expected. I don't think we're going to see any rain chances, any real rain chances uh, for a few days, we get a little bit of a break here as we go into the middle part of the week. Here's a look at the surface maps, and you'll be able to see that high pressure will be taking over here and uh, giving us a really nice day ahead. Here's the front just now about to clip the Bowling Green area and move south and east. As I mentioned, there still could be a renegade shower or two over near the Cumberland Plateau in southeastern Kentucky later today as that front slips through. And there's still enough humidity and daytime heating to pop a shower or two. But for the most part, here in the Bowling Green area, I think we're done with uh, any rain. Here we go into this afternoon and this evening. And then we head into Tuesday. High pressure dominating much of the upper Great Lakes and the Midwest and here in the Ohio Valley. Looking pretty good. Here we go into Tuesday night, into Wednesday. Wednesday into Thursday, high pressure still in control. Here comes another boundary from the Great Lakes, followed by another Canadian high pressure. So we get into Thursday, 
into Friday. We'll start to see pop-up showers during the late day as we head into the weekend. As that front gets closer to us on Saturday, yeah, I think we will start to see a few mainly afternoon and evening pop-up showers or a scattered thunderstorm. And by Sunday, that front returns north as a warm front being aided by Gulf of Mexico moisture. The setup here will be after Sunday into the beginning of next week, which is the beginning of September. I think we'll start to see uh, better rain chances coming back in and even some cooler temperatures. Cooler than what we We've been experiencing, um, it is possible, or at least there are signs of it beginning to show that. And remember, I've been saying, I think we're going into an early fall. uh, And by looking at this, this could be summer's kind of last gasp here. Uh, We go from 85 today to 87 tomorrow. Yes, upper 80s and maybe even hitting 90. Um, possibly Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, any of those three days, maybe even uh, Monday until we get some better rain in here, another chance of rain coming in, as I mentioned, the beginning of the week. But look at this. We go from the mid-80s to the low 80s into the middle of the beginning and the middle of next week, which is, this is August 31st on next Wednesday. Then next Thursday, uh, a week from now, a week from this Thursday, you see there, that's the 1st of September, 82 and 65, the beginning of a trend that does look much cooler, maybe even some upper 70s as we get the first few days of September, which leads us into Labor Day weekend, typically the unofficial end of summer. So we're getting there. I do think we're getting there, even though we're going to have a few warm days this week, maybe even a few humid days this week. Um, I don't think it's going to be 90s to 100. No, I think that's done. So uh, here we go into fall. Eventually, uh, in the next couple of weeks, we're there. Okay, today, enjoy. Um, If you're listening to the radio starting this morning, I'm giving away pairs, and I've got a handful of pairs of tickets to go see Roger Waters of Pink Floyd live in Nashville this coming Saturday night at Bridgestone Arena. Um, So I tied in uh, Floyd the Barber, from Andy Griffith's show. Oh, Andy, you need a haircut with Pink Floyd. It just, it's a natural fit. So when you hear Floyd on the radio, Floyd the barber, go, I'm going to Nashville. Well, then be the seventh caller and you'll win a pair of tickets to go see Roger Waters of Pink Floyd. It's silly. It's something that, of course, it's, it's me. It's silly. But I love Floyd, uh, Howard McNear, uh, the original character, and uh, on Andy Griffith, uh, Floyd the Barber. So, um, yeah, it's going to be kind of a neat contest. So when you hear Floyd the Barber say he's going to Nashville, that's your cue to call this morning to try to win tickets to see Roger Waters of Pink Floyd in Nashville. This Saturday night, this coming Saturday night at Bridgestone Arena. Okay, I'm headed to the radio station, Sam 100.7, starting at 6 this morning. And it could be any time I give away those tickets. So be uh, watching for that. God bless you. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the radio.